Hey, this is Ray Allen. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. They want me bench warming, but I've been playing getting knowledge. The plug sending bowls like we in the game with Ben Wallace. The stole cooking. So we got AWA Ray Allen off the porch with us today, man. How you What's feeling, up, bro? Man? I'm feeling good, bro. What's up? How about you? I'm feeling great, man. Yeah, appreciate What's you coming up, up man. Uh, what else you got planned to work on here in Atlanta during this trip, man? We just going to move around, network, record a little bit. Okay. Bounce around. You, know. you be coming up here pretty often? Yeah, I do. Okay. That's what's up, man. So that's uh, 2021 starting off for you, man. It's a new year. It's been straight so far. It's been good. I just finished up on my project. It dropped like, like three days ago. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I feel good about that. Yeah. Now, that's a good way to start the year, too, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we'll get to the project in a minute, man. But let's talk about Pensacola, man. What goes down in Pensacola? What's life like out there? Yeah, I mean, it's like regular shit, street shit. You know, it's anywhere you, you know, you got a bunch of people. Well, not, it ain't really a big spot, but it's usually, it's so closed in, but it's like so many different sets and sizes of town niggas claim. So, you know, it's just normal shit, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think when most people here at Pensacola, they think just the beach, man. Nah. nah. Yeah, that shit got a whole different side to it. Yeah. I know everyone else that's been from Pensacola that's out on the porch said, man, it goes down out there, oh, too, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 it go, it go yeah. down on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like I said, by being small like that, you know, you got a bunch of different situations you feel me so mm -hmm. like a bunch of motherfuckers bunched up man. you know but other than that you know it's just regular shit. okay yeah. how would you describe your childhood growing up there shit. normal until i got in like like sixth grade <laughs> mm -hmm. i was fucking around then but well i was you know just trying to get my feet wet and shit. okay but yeah Everything, it's, it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's just regular shit, you know, people, you got this side and that side, you know, but, hey, uh, there's a lot of street shit going on now, that motherfucker. So, so at what age would you say you jumped off the porch then? I was like 16. Okay. Yeah, like 16. Do you have any older brothers, any big homies, anyone out there, anyone in your family to kind of help guide you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got, um, <laughs> yeah, my uncle, he had passed away in, like, uh, 2011. He, yeah, I got shot and shit. But that was, like, he played a big part, too. Like, uh, a lot of my influence, you know. Um, shit, my, one of my partners, he, he in the Fed. Um, hmm. Moon. Oh, shit. It was, uh, man, that's a lot of niggas. I can, you know, older niggas, but. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just, we always kind of stuck together as like being young, though, you know what I'm saying? Like us, like me and my partners. Yeah. Yeah. So I ain't really, we kind of taught ourselves shit. Real, okay. For real, for, like, for the most part. Yeah. Who do you got on the porch with you today, man? Introduce him. That's, that's, that's escrow. He gang. That's freezing. He gang. <laughs> AWA. Okay. Yeah. You, you grew up with them? Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Okay. From the dirt. Hey man, having day ones is yeah. getting rare these days, yeah, man. For sure, man. That shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Love to see the loyalty, man. So salute sure. to you guys, man, for sticking through it. Yeah. Um, so what can you tell us about this incident where uh, in a, you were involved in a drive-by, got shot six times? Oh, yeah, yeah. We was, um, we was just cruising, like, we was trying to do some regular shit, and nigga pulled up and... Went to hitting in that motherfucker. We weren't really paying attention. It was raining and shit too, so yeah. We ain't no getting away though. Where'd you get hit at? I got grazed uh, up here and in my legs and shit. This shit right here. Who? Yeah. So, yeah, I got hit in my legs mainly though. I ain't get hit in like no. You know, like no, not my in my torso area or nothing like that. No dangerous shit. Well, I mean, you get shot in the leg and die. Mother. Yeah, you get that artery. Hit <laughs> a main artery, but yeah, it was just some little shit like that. Though. Okay. And my um, partner, he he got shot too. But me and him was like the only two that had got shot. 
He had got shot in his leg. Oh shit. Yeah. But after being in the hospital for long? Nah, nah, nah. I got a crazy story about that shit too, cause um when I got shot, I f <laughs> I had fucked around and um we this shit was so crazy cause um they was they was trying to say some shit like, oh um, y'all gonna be charged with some shit, some some shit. So I fucked around and um when it cause the paper was out, the paper came out the next day and it was like so we're seeking charges or whatever, whatever, and then I was like, oh shit. So I'm shot and I'm probably finna go to jail cause some shit probably they found some shit, you know, that one hours or some shit like that. So I'm just wigging out cause I'm kinda like, you know, fucked up from the day before, like just on some paranoid shit. And then I just kinda like <laughs> I called the nurse in the and I told her, I was like, um, I was like, I need my sheets changed. And she was like, you might be getting discharged today. But I'm like, still nervous though. I'm like, damn, this could be some old, you know what I'm saying, some funny shit. So my dog had stayed the night with me up there, so shit. They had went and got me some um, change of clothes and a hat and shit, because my head was like wrapped up and shit. I slid up out that motherfucker without getting discharged. And they was trying to get, yeah, they was trying to get like a a bullet out my leg or some shit so they can like try and charge or like trace it back to a gun they had found from somebody. You know, it's just some some crazy shit. It was they had a bunch of shit going on, so I ended up leaving or whatever. And um they was like, oh we gonna this is gonna be an emergency um warrant or some shit like that for you well just to bring you back or whatever. And I was like, um they was contacting my mom because at the time I had lost my phone and shit. So yeah, I ended up just going on, a, like, you know, just leaving the hospital and shit. Hmm. And then I ended up going to jail probably like two weeks after that shit, or like a week maybe oh, after really? that shit, yeah. So I was for some whole other shit with me and my, with my partner. Hmm. Did they ever get the bullet out your leg or is it still in there? Nah, cause when I did go back after all the smoke clip, they was like, it's gonna come out cause of where it was surface at. Like, okay. where, you know, it's like damn near finna come out type shit. It's gonna come out on its own. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. They was like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. What would you say is one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn while being out in the streets, though? I probably would say, I don't know, man. Cause I done like, since I done been, you know what I'm saying, like off the porch, sh bro, like I done seen so much shit happen that made me change a certain sh like strategy up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so probably something that really made me get on my shit though was m my uncle getting killed though, like me just realizing what, well, you know what I'm saying? Like the direction that I need to at least try to be going in. So, yeah, but, and that was in 2011. Okay, yeah. dig that man. Would you say the streets have changed much over the years? Yeah, a lot. Hey, yeah, yeah. How so? Cause um, the internet, and then it's like a lot of niggas that was out back in the day, they either like washed up or they either fucking like, you know what I'm saying, like locked up and shit, and kind of like out of out of connection with what's really going on. So it's like they ain't really giving a nigga no game or nothing for real, for real. So it's like, you just kinda gotta go for what you know, for real, like, yeah. Then you got niggas who don't know shit, putting a twist on it too already, so then it's, 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 it might be trending to that crowd, you know what I'm saying? Then you got all these niggas on this, and then, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of shit changed, bro. Like, since I done been, I kinda stick to the guidelines though, you know, yeah. basic shit. Yeah, yeah. Do you consider yourself an OG at this point since you've been out there for so long? I mean, for sure, cause I done survived shit. I ain't never told on the nigga, I ain't never did no fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never been scary, never ran from a nigga, none of that shit. So, um, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's not just because motherfuckers might call me that shit because they be like, oh, he got something going on. Because, you know, a lot of that shit be going on, too. You can kind of, like, buy credit out here in the street. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, that's something some that's niggas, changed, yeah. too. It yeah, didn't some, always used to be like sure. that, yeah, too. Yeah, you had to do something, like, prove yourself to be able to even claim some shit and stand up and do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Real Nowadays, sweet. like niggas, like they just like, like they cheating out this bitch, like for real. Like we went to hard head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like people respect money more these days than, yeah, than morals then it, and loyalty and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. On, on pills and shit. Yeah, yeah. Again, high as fuck. Rapping. I've been doing that shit since. Phew. Yeah, yeah. My uncle, that nigga used to wake me up early in the morning to go do that shit. Like, hey, go outside and show this nigga you can. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> That's how that nigga start calling me. Uh, <laughs> that nigga start calling me Snake Man. Cause I, I was a jit. I, I was a little nigga. And niggas wake me up early in the morning, they go outside. <coughs> and I ain't had none of my friends. Like I just had like the 2K9 T. Oh, yeah. And every time I used to be talking, I'd be spitting and shit. Like, <laughs> but I used to like to rap though all the time though. So niggas used to be like, nigga, your name's Snake Man, nigga. It was like on some funny shit. <laughs> and a lot of like nah, motherfuckers be calling me snake and shit. But they be thinking it be from like some street shit, but it's really it ain't from no street shit. It was like some household shit. Yeah. Okay. Who'd you grow up listening to? Cash Money. Um, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Cash Money though, like a motherfucker though. Cash Money, uh, Eight Ball and MJG. Okay. Um, UGK for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, ESG. All that, like, hell yeah, yeah. That was that was that was the influence back then. Then you know you would watch BET. Them niggas weren't really getting on BET for real. So when you watch BET, you getting like you getting to see like niggas like Fifty Cent or well I'm gonna take it back for, before Fifty Cent like Biggie and shit, you mm-hmm. know, Tupac. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up on Tupac too though, heavy. My uncle he used to play the fuck out of that shit. Yeah. yeah so I like that shit though. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of your videos got like over a hundred K, man. Yeah. Did you did you yeah. always expect your music to take off like that? I at first. I mean, you can you can say that, but at first though, I really wasn't thinking about that shit though, cause it's like, let me just do this shit, you know what I'm saying? And all that shit came like, you know, it's just like accumulated, but shit. But from the gate though, I just everybody fucked with us though, like they rock with us, cause they was like, damn, them niggas really rapping, like them niggas going to the studio, <laughs> you know, doing some other shit besides, you know what I'm saying, regular street shit. So, so yeah, I kind of knew motherfuckers would rock with it though, but then you got a lot of niggas that. They play it in, in, in the closet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it be like, they listen to it when they by themselves. They don't wanna, they don't wanna give a nigga no, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't wanna show they support the movement though. They bite, they taking a little bite here and there. Like, you know, that nigga biting a little bit. <laughs> Fuck, that nigga biting a lot. But it look cheesy though. It don't look right. So talk to us about AWA. What does that stand for and how to get started? Um, it's all why the fast. Uh, it's us. But he don't rap though. <laughs> he don't rap. But um my partner AWA Escrow, Grandma, uh AWA, Scrunch AWA. I mean it's a lot of as far as us like who rap though, you know, it's us, but then I got my cousin, uh AWA twin. He, he do a little something too. But most of everybody I don't really rap though, cause it's, you know, it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a, what we is though, it's like a family, so shit, you know, they brothers. So it's like that, but. I got you, man. Everybody don't really rap though. But the ones who rap though, we started that shit in like 15. Okay. Talk to us about the music scene in Pensacola right now. I mean, it's a lot of talent though. I ain't gonna even lie. Like, it's a lot of talent though. And then it's like, 
it ain't really a lot of light get, being shed on the city as far as that go. Cause like a lot of time I done been to prison, motherfuckers ain't even know what Pensacola was. So hmm. it's like we at the tip top, you feel me, of Florida. And you know, so it's kind of like, I don't know. But it's Fido, it's a, you know, a lot of motherfuckers there who, you know, they got their own way of their art, you know, so, you know what I'm saying, everybody different in their own way. Yeah. But it's good though, everybody, we need some motherfucking exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why do you think uh, people overlook the talent out there in Pensacola? Well, for one, I just think they ain't really hip to it yet. But it's 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 people like it's it's I know it's a couple people that didn't kind of they from the city they didn't kind of win a little man like not mainstream but they kind of yeah got, a couple got signed yeah, in the last year too but they ain't really like making no noise for real like putting on for real for real like that like. They ain't, and then they ain't giving back. Like, they ain't, like, coming through that motherfucker, showing, and like, oh, this, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, because niggas really trying to get up out the streets. So, you know, like, in, like from one street nigga to another, you know what I'm saying? And I know it's like that mentality, like that little, um, what they call that, crab in the bucket shit. Mm -hmm. So it be like, motherfucker do make it out. They be trying to run because they be feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. This nigga gonna be trying to get this. This nigga gonna try to, you know what I'm saying? Like get over. It's just different little shit, bro. Like motherfuckers ain't really shedding no light on that bit like that though. Just cause motherfuckers ain't doing the right shit for real. Like you gotta be to the point where a motherfucker be like then tapped in. Like you feel me? Oh, who his ops is? Or who the, who these? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like how niggas be on Chicago shit. All that, you know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, who he beefing with? You know what I'm saying? Just to even listen, like, oh, he popping his music hard as fuck. Like, everybody, he got over a million streams. He doing this, he doing that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I know if I get my foot in that shit, for real, when I get my foot in that shit, because I'm coming for that shit. But once I get my foot in that shit, though, I'm going to make sure, like, you feel me? Even if I don't be like, hey, this nigga with me, he rocking with me. That nigga can be from a whole nother side of time. We don't even got no connection, but... They so tapped in to the point where it's like, shit, you know, we might get that nigga, we might, somebody might want to snatch that nigga, like, you know how that shit go. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's talk about this new project, man. 463 is a star circle? Star, like S-T-A-R-A. -A. Okay, star circle, mm -hmm. man. So why'd you choose that title, man? Is that where you're from? Nah, I mean, I'm from that strip. Um, but I named it that because, uh, man, I had like a good good run right there, you know, just like on some, just finding myself shit and everything. Like I was going, you know what I'm saying? And then it's crazy because it was my mom, you know, it was like, my mama's spot or whatever. And I just kind of like, just used to have to live in that motherfucker. And didn't want to, you feel me? It's just like, so I had like, get it off the flow for real. Yeah, yeah. How long did you work on this project? Cause this is your first one in a, what, a year or two? A year, uh, what was it? 19 was no features one. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. The pandemic fucked it up though. That shit made time <laughs> go by fast, but slow like. So it's like, I wouldn't even, I don't know, I was on some other shit. I was trying to get down. It was good though, like on, on some other shit. So I kind of like, my focus wasn't on music. Yeah. For real, for real. But, uh, I mean, I, I feel good about the, about the project though. Okay. Um, It took me, uh, I think it took me like, about, probably about three or four months. But just that's just because I always be like, doing other shit, you feel me? It's like, I like rapping, that's my passion, but at that time, I kind of like wasn't really feeling that shit, you know, so kind of like was trying to do some whole other shit and see where I really wanted to make my investments at, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that shit, I had been doing it, but I really wasn't putting my all in that shit, and I was expecting more than what I was putting in, so that I had to realize that though, and that's kind of what made me get my passion back for it. Like, like you know what I'm saying, with confidence. Like, cause you know, like I said, it's like, a, like I be feeling like shit. Motherfuckers ain't really paying this shit no attention 
over here, over there, you know what I'm saying? Like the main shit that really matter, like, so I was just like, like quick to give up on the shit and that ain't never been me, I ain't never been no quitter. So I just had to like muscle back up and that tape right there, like that bitch, you know, I had, I just kind of like took my time with it. So I gave him, you know what I'm saying? Gave him me on it. Yeah. Is there a single that you're pushing off of it? I like eight, um, like catchy shit, you know? But not for real, I just, I just did it. Most motherfuckers, when they heard it, like, it, I just, cause I kinda wanted to know. Like, I asked me, like, which one your favorite on there, you know? Like, just to see what more people will be leaning on. And just like, everybody tell me the same thing. So they be like, I just let it ride. Like, I just listen to the whole, I don't know. Yeah. So. Like, it's still fresh too. They yeah, gotta, gotta yeah, go that's back what to I it said, a few though, times. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. You gotta go back to it, and then motherfuckers will be like, "Oh yeah, this the one." Yeah. So, yeah. Plans to shoot some music videos off of this? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect it. It's, okay. I ain't even gonna talk about it, but yeah. I ain't used to do that a lot though. I found out that's that's where a lot of my attention. That Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's that shit kind of like because you got to keep people on their toes. So they be wanting you to be consistent. Cause once you been consistent, it's like your shit just is routine, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I gotta jump back in routine with them. And I know they be wanting that shit though, cause everybody always be like, when you dropping? Like, you know, like, or when you gonna do this? Or some shit like that. And then a lot of motherfuckers be wanting to like get me on features and shit. And I just like, I'll be like, I'm gonna do it. And I be having the intention to do it, but it's be like, I don't know. I be zoning that shit out. So, feel like you're back focused now, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm all the way. Yeah, I'm. I'm fucking with it because I got like a. I paid attention to the support this time. You feel me? It wasn't just. It wasn't just this side of town, or it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I had niggas that I had like previous problems with, like reach out and be like, "Oh, bro, that shit dope." Woo -woo -woo. Like you know. Yeah. Not saying that everything is all genuine. Motherfuckers can be dressing it up too, but you know it's still like they. They recognize that shit though. Yeah. Do you have any features on there? No, nah, not for real. Not for real. And I didn't though. I was, I was, I got, I got, I got a um like a female song. I never do them though. I had, I put a um a a, a girl I had um used, I grew up with. I used to go to church with her, so I know her personally. You know, I just wrote her and asked her because I heard her singing and shit or whatever. Uh, and I got her on a, on a little female song. But other than that, uh, nah, ain't nobody else on that motherfucker. Okay. I guess motherfuckers really probably wasn't t t like taking me serious. Like, cause you know how you be like, it be, in, it be in the motherfucking intention to do the song. Cause I hit up a couple people and like, hey bro, I need a verse from you. Woo, woo, woo. But it's like, they, you know, they probably on some regular shit they on. And once we link, we link. Um, but. I was like really trying to get a couple people on the shit. I was trying to get him on that motherfucker, but we gon' we got some whole other shit coming though. So, um, nah, I ain't really get too many people though. All right. Ain't nobody get on that bit for real. <laughs> I just went shit. What has being a father taught you about life? Oh shit, man. How to be like, how to be like, more careful, like with with everything, you know, like um, man, just even not putting yourself in situations that would risk you having to lead them in any kind of way. You feel me? Whether it's some violent shit or whether it's you know the police or some, you know what I'm saying? Like anything, bro. So that shit like make me move a lot better and different. So yeah. That shit, that shit taught me a lot though. I like it though. Yeah. All right, what yeah. else you working on? What else is coming up for this new year, man? Man, I'ma just be dropping, man. I don't know, man. I'ma, I'ma land in a situation though, a good one. It's like so, I'm just, I'm just waiting to pick that shit up. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that, like. But I'm working though. I'm going. I ain't stopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so any shout outs before we wrap it up? Yeah, to my whole section. Shout out to my whole side of my whole section, my whole island. Um, 
Shout out to Big Moon. I want to shout out to my mama. <laughs> she for making me shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she did some then. They want me bench warming, but I've been playing getting knowledge. The plug sending bowls like we in the game with Ben Wallace. The stove cooking slow, so I get paid when I crock it.